afternoon. It is 4 p.m. here in South Korea. I am Arirong News, AI anchor, Ari. North Korean leader Kim Jong-un said, South Korea should be specified as the regime's number one hostile country in its constitution. Kim said this on Monday during the 10th session of the 14th Supreme People's Assembly. He added the constitution should reflect the idea of completely occupying South Korea in the event of war and incorporating it into the North's territory. He also said North Korea will abolish agencies in charge of inter-Korean affairs. President Yoon suk responded to Kim's decision to amend the North's constitution by saying the threat to South Korea is not the people of North Korea, but its regime. The president was speaking during a cabinet meeting on Tuesday, where he added that any provocation by North Korea would be met with retaliation multiple times stronger. President Yoon also said that South Koreans and the government must unite against the North's propaganda and that the North's decision to label South Korea as another enemy state proves North Korea is going against its own ethnicity and history. South Korea is set to spend heavily in the first half of the year in a bid to improve people's livelihoods. The South Korean government will spend a record 65% of the central government's funds for the year. During the first six months of 2024, the government is also moving to stabilize prices of 16 commodities and high demand to ease the burden of inflation ahead of the Lunar New Year holiday. South Korea's auto exports for last year saw an all-time high on the back of strong demand for eco-friendly cars. According to the Trade Ministry on Tuesday, the total value of exports last year reached 70.9 billion US dollars. In terms of production, 4,240,000 cars were produced, exceeding the 4 million mark for the first time since 2018. The country looks to further boost the industry through tax benefits and an easing of regulations. South Korea's Ministry of Trade, Industry and Energy announced on Tuesday its fourth plan to foster the development of intelligent robots in the country. A total of 2.2 billion US dollars will be spent on funding domestic firms and supplying 1 million high-tech robots by 2030. A key area of support is boosting domestic production of core robot parts with the goal of making 80% of parts locally. Global elites, from business leaders to heads of state are in Davos for the 54th World Economic Forum, which kicked off on Monday under the theme of rebuilding trust, with 2,800 participants from 120 countries. The backdrop of this year's meeting is even more complex. And top of the agenda are talks to end wars in Gaza and Ukraine. On Monday, Switzerland agreed to host a global peace summit for Ukraine at the request of Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky. Further details are said to be worked out but Zelensky has called for Beijing's participation. That is all for today. Thanks for watching.